What's up, everybody? Lee Dojo 90 coming out for another awesome video. This is going to be the next part of Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, and we don't have much time, so we're just going to explain that the last time we did the Polyjuice Potion thing, where we got information from Malfoy, and now we're going to go get the big beanbag, and then we're going to continue with the next day. Let's go. Oy vey. People. Lots of people. Loading, loading, loading. I hate this fucking loading. Freaking loading. I swear I said freaking. Probably if you not review the video, because that would probably be bad for me, but it's loading. Right. Uh, we do not want to end the day. We want the severing charm. Because if I remember correctly... It's not this one, is it? No? Okay. It's the one on the fifth... No, fourth. Yes, no. Third. Third. Fifth. Third. No, not this one. Not third floor. It's got to be fifth floor, then. All right. So, there's a tapestry. Where the hell is the tap? There's... What? Oh, yeah. Hi, I just spoiled something. Son of a nut. Did not mean to spoil that. Forget what I just said. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Okay, there's a tapestry. There. Oh, freaking... Book. Get away. Okay. There are those pieces of sh. Yup. Okay. We are. Oh, wait. We don't have. Okay. Crap. But as you can see, there is a cauldron back there. We're going to wait for this little douche nozzle to get out of the way. I've been using that term a lot. I should probably find a better term. Sorry, bro. Alright. So we come over here. There is a. Wiggity Weld Potion Cauldron. So, if ever you need a boost, or you need a extra life bar, always good. Don't burn to death, because I hate these things. They're freaking annoying as hell. And they block your way more often than not. But uh, there is a wizarding card here. Uh, I just came through here myself with my own profile not too long ago, just to double check and make sure that I didn't forget anything. There's a wizarding card. There is another chest in there, but we need another spell that we don't quite have yet to actually get that. Um, here, right in here, there's another wizarding card laying about, but also to our right is a chest that we need that for, if I can remember. So, yep, so we got that, and if we open it, we get... A big bean bag, so we can carry 100 beans. A bigger bean bag. Now I can carry more. Now all beans. we gotta do is not die, which is a lot easier said than done, if I'm being honest here, because I'm terrible at not taking hits. But if we crawl out right here, we can see that we are actually on the no, books. <gasps> They've always been evil. We are actually on the floor with the push away bookcase that we normally come out of whenever we go through um, Gryffindor's common room shortcut deal. So, if you want to use that as a reference, be my guest. But I hate these freaking ghosts everywhere. Uh, but that is the seventh floor. And while this is loading, I'm going to check my phone again. The wazoo. Um... There's a potion vial for a hundred beans. How much is this Wigan Well potion vial? One hundred versus every flavor beans. The Aloe Amora spell book. How much is it? Which is eighty. Normally, I'd go for Aloe Amora if we're really close to getting cards, because there are a lot of different places where you can get cards besides paying for them for thirty birdie bots beans apiece. But having a second Wiggity Weld Small. means that you are even more invincible. You get another life bar, essentially. Which is why I wanted to show you guys the uh, Wiggly Weld Potion Cauldron that's right there. So you can go fill that up afterwards. But I always do this whenever I get the Hunter Bean Bag to actually come and get this. I make a note of it so that I remember to go get the cauldron and get another life bar. Because it helps a lot. Now, I don't know what this last circle is for. I can never remember what this last circle is for to save my life. I think it's the balloon belt. But I'm not too sure because wouldn't that just go under the non-explodable luminous balloons? Move, Harry. Now you can because I'm looking around and it's like, okay, well you have the balloon belts. You have stink pellets. There's a stink pellet pack that we already bought. There's more cards. Oh yeah, by the way, 
Oh, the Alamora spellbook only unlocks those mechanical locks on chests. That's literally all it's good for. So if you're thinking, oh, well, now we can go into all those locked rooms. No, you can't. Which is another reason why I'm just like, well, it's not going to open any other opportunities for us. So I figured, why should I waste my money on that when I could not die more? Always great. Um, But let's go. Out. Oh, there is a sketch chest here. Good thing I saw that. Let's see what we got. Probably a card. Yep, there's a card. Uh, we're going to get that. And while that animation is going. Alrighty. Let us keep a going. Oh, jeez. How much time? Is this is already like seven minutes. Jeez, I wasn't expecting this to take that long. Uh, I'll have to do some heavy editing, but... Uh, we should be good. Actually, why did I do that? I could just end the day. I forgot about that. I could just end the day. <laughs> I could pause it and hit X and we'd be good. I keep forgetting about that. Always. I just keep forgetting about that. And the reason that I always get the big bean bag and then rush over there is because I don't want to lose any beans. And those freaking ghosts everywhere steal your beans. And it pisses me off so much. And I still hate my hair. For those of you that don't get that reference, just go back a few episodes where I was talking about how terribly vain I am. Um, there's a chest there that we already opened. Okay. Just double checking to make sure we didn't lose anything. Let's see, today, after Polyjuice Potion, I think... Oh, we do get a good spell. Hello, Ron. What class have we got first today? It's Charms with Flitwick. I'll meet you on the second floor. Not only is this... One of my favorite dungeons. Okay, measuring scales near... Oh! Well, okay. I don't know if I should do this now or later, because I know what's coming up next. But... this Anyway, um, back to the uh, dungeon. This dungeon is actually one of my more favorite dungeons, and that is terribly, terribly dark. I'm sorry, I'm just checking the recording right now. It's like, that's really dark. Let me see if I can brighten it a little bit. I'll, I'll keep it where it was, because I don't want to mess with any of the other lighting stuff that we've had. Because it's been really friggin' good lately, and I don't want to mess with that. But, um... Is that interlaced? That is not interlaced, not to my knowledge. Uh, tell me if this video is completely interlaced, because I'm looking in a... It doesn't look like it, but I still have the option to de-interlace if the situation comes up where interlacing would be an issue. Uh, just tell me if the video quality looks like there's a bunch of lines everywhere. Or, like, someone shredded the video and then tried to put it back together with, like different shreds places yeah that uh that's interlaced by the way i may i should really make a video about that about video interlacing and stuff i should i'm it's probably gonna come out before i even get this part up depending but because that's something that i really need to educate some people on it's like so you're starting a youtube channel don't do all of this crap because I really wish there was a guide when I started YouTube that's literally like, okay, here's where you can get some cheap recording stuff that's actually good and will benefit you until you can buy the expensive stuff. And you should probably get the expensive stuff as quickly as possible. But, uh, classroom money, where's Charms? Charms is on the second floor, isn't it? Charms and library, yes, of course. I completely blew past that. It's because I was talking to all of you guys. You guys suck. Anyway. I completely got off track. This dungeon that we're about to do, which is Charms class, is one of my more favorite dungeons because it's short. It's still decently challenging. You have to think. This this first time I played this made me think pretty long and hard before I realized, oh, I can do this with the same object. So, and you, you, you get a good spell. That's I, I'm trying not to spoil anything because he's about to say it. Morning class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve us in learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Incendio Challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. That's one of the chests. The Incendio Spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you've managed to collect it, the Incendio Charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do 
you understand, Mr. Potter? I do, Professor. Very well, then. Off you jolly well go. We gon' get incendio. This is my favorite charm, cause it'll destroy those little turtle fuckers that fart fire. Oh. It really does. And it's great. It destroys, like, any enemy instance. And it's such a good spell. I just... I like it. My face just turned completely red, didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm getting worked up over a Harry Potter game. Go figure. All right. Time to start. Now, need to re-equip that. I don't think... I'm trying to think. I think we're going to need that spell next, so we'll just go with it. Yes, we will. Because I don't remember having to use a scourge. And not a fuck was given after jumping off of that ledge. But we have to face one of these tennis matches again. That's the one thing I wish they could have done a little bit better, but I know that they're going to PlayStation 2 and dueling system. It's really a tennis match. We're playing tennis. We're not dueling. We're playing a sport. That is non magic of course. Um... We have to fight two more of these. We do. I know. Weird. Oh, I never fight this for a second. No, you don't. You're gonna die, bro. You're gonna die very soon. And now you're gonna use your wings to shield because you're laughing like the knife, so. Man. And uh, by the way, if those of you wondering, you can't trap the magic spell in your spell, you and hold it. I just. Okay, that's bad. What? I just tend to do like a sense match because I, I like to do it quickly and it really doesn't matter. See, I held it there. So you can hold it for a little bit, but the quicker you get it off, the better, really. I took absolutely no time. You didn't block it all. You just get hit more often. It speeds things up a bit. And you're dead. And that's going to open up the path behind him. And let's not get hit by the fragments and get knocked down. It doesn't hurt, but it's still stupid. So let's keep going this way. And then we come back this way. And you can see that there are these pressure plates that are normally used for uh, the Avafor spell. And you can see that there's more gargoyles down here. We have one gargoyle over here, another one on the other side where we have to jump to and climb to and just take it out. They just take three hits each. It's not like the long battle before, and I like that. The fact that you can take these things out with just three shots. Instead of having to go through the entire friggin' ordeal again and again. So we already beat one of them. We proved that we're not going to die. Getting real tired of this stuff. So we'll just cast Aberforce. We'll let that do its thing. The door opens up. The raven's gonna go change. We have these little butt munches that we still can't kill yet. But we will in a sec. I promise. We will get back at the Flame-Ass Turtles. I really don't know what they're called, so I'm just calling them the Flame-Ass Turtles. Come on. Die, turtle. Just die. Speed it up. Don't do your battle cry. You're gonna die anyway. Don't prolong your death. You're just having insult to your injury. There we go. Have a force. Oh, come on. Have a force. There we go. Right on target. So that's gonna happen. That's a Fire-Ass Turtle. So, once both of them are open, the gate's open, and you see the spell book there. We are going to go and get that spell book because it is the awesome spell that I will probably have equipped in my inventory until I need to switch it out in any way, shape, or form, and then probably switch it right back. Because this spell is just friggin' awesome. So, let's go do that. Incendio! Love this spell to death. And then the last slot is for the Aloe Moore spell spellbook, which we have to buy. So this little butt munch comes down, and you're just like, well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to incendio it? No, I am not. Can I flipendo it? Yes, you can. Run, and hopefully not get burned like me. But you have to light these uh, sconces, I guess that's what you're calling them, and they raise this. So once you light all four of them, run like a bat out of hell. I normally tend to start over here so that I don't need to go with the fire pig thing. But I target, I move back until it untargets, which is normally right about there. Big incendio. Firepower incendio. Cost a decent incendio. Oh, snap. That's not going to work. And then normally what I do is I just cast a smet incendio. 
then a target and cast another Schmet Incendio and run. Oh, that worked. Holy crap. Normally, that you have like no time to get out there, but apparently I had time. All right, so now we're out here and we're at the top. Basically, okay, I should not have jumped that high. Uh, basically, you see these sconces, light them, and stuff will happen. So we're going to go in here, and this will be the first uh, switch that we get. You can see that there were those uh, little torch things coming out of the ground you need to take care of. All right. You buttfuckers are going down. Okay, you see? He's still there. He's still there. Incendio, boom, you're gone. Buttfucker? No, you don't. Sorry, fire ass. You're dying. Good day. There's one more in here. There you are. Turtle, go bye-bye. Uh, you light the pig, because pigs like to be lit on fire, apparently. And it switches the flame, so you can't do both of them at the same time instead of just turning it off. So what you have to do, after you got this, you want to make sure that both the flames are on one side, which they are. They're on that side. So we have to come over to this side. You're going to target the first pig that is closest to, you know, the area that you're at. Mini Incendio or Big Incendio will do the same thing, so I just tend to do Mini Incendio and Mini Flipendo. So that you knock it up, and these platforms rise. Once those platforms are risen, you can run up here before the fire dies. And jump across. And hopefully not, you know, die. You have little time to do it, but you can still do it. You jump across, make it, you press the button, there's another one on the other side, so you just have to do the exact same thing over on the other side. Uh, one sec. Oy vey. People. I completely missed that. Uh, so, we have to light the sconce on this side. So how are you all doing in Harry Potter? How many times have you died so far if this is your first playthrough through, and you're just playing alongside me for fun? Because it's not that hard of a game, but it's a decent... I have to light the other pig. Uh, it's a decent challenge. And I enjoy that decent challenge. That's personal preference. You guys might hate the fact that there's a challenge there. I don't know. Maybe. But uh, there's going to be more fire asses, turtles on the other side, so... Might as well get this one done. But once they're gone, they don't forget until we die. And it's great. So great. All right. Come on over here and finish that. But this game... This game, man. This game. If you have not played this game, I highly suggest playing this game. Because you get to destroy fire turtles with your own fire. No, target that. There we go. There's one of you munchers over here. There you are. Big incendio for your sorry butt. And you're just here. Okay. Light the pig. That switch is open. All I gotta do is jump across, press it, and then we are gone and home free. So let go. If you have not played this game, please play it. It is a great introduction platform that's going to show you how controls need to be tight and it's important. I completely forgot to light the pig. Controls are tight and important, but no control will be perfect no matter how much you try. It always depends on the situation. So, get that. Get that piggy. Oh, come on, I have to pin dude. I have to pin dude! Stop! Don't be stupid. Let's go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Because sometimes platformers don't have the tightest controls. Case in point, Bubsy. But, you know, they tried, they tried. I'm not the best with my platformers either. I'm not good with a lot of platformers. But this one will teach you platform and action RPG. So let's crawl back out. And we have gotten the Incendio spell successfully. And it is time for us to see what Litwick will say to us about our great accomplishment in getting the Incendio spell, the best spell in the entire game. My opinion. But it's true. I can't make you agree with me and be right. Loading screens. Excellent, Potter. Forty house points to Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Hey, Harry. Don't forget you've got the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Come on, let's go to the stadium. I'd love it if they gave us a schedule of our Quidditch matches, because that would be great. Okay, um, these are the Aloe Amora chests. You can see by the key, they're mechanical locks instead of magical locks. So, you know, uh, let me just 
double check to make sure there's nothing hidden. Because they always hide stuff in these games just just to screw with the player. Hello there and welcome to the next match of the season. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor! First ring got. That's always a good sign. Because they, the difficulty of these Quidditch matches is literally just how much boost the seeker on the other team gets before you. Because if he'll he'll come up on my tail in a little bit, and he's going to have like already full stars when I don't have a single thing. Another thing, if you're playing the GameCube game, you will find it even harder to attempt to go through these rings while boosting because the boost in that game is read. Ridiculous, and you have no control whatsoever. All right, so I think you have to get four boosts before the Ravenclaw gets four boosts. Seeker's going to come up on me in like five seconds anyway, so it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, there he is. He's right behind me, and he's got full boost. Bludgers suck! Suck big, Bludger! I hate going this close to the ground because you do lose magic every time you touch the ground or get buffet buffeted by pretty much anything. Which is why these bludgers are so damn annoying. I apologize if I'm offending people with my language, but jeezum, I hate these bludgers. I'm killing this Ravenclaw Seeker. Now I'm not, but I was. He's boosting now. Oh no, he's just, he's just riding. Can't let him get too far in front of me. Not to hit him every now and then. Fucking bludgers! Little shit stains on the Quidditch field. I hate them. I hate you. How about you hit the freaking seeker on the other team for once, you piece of garbage? God. Pretty sure I knocked him out of existence. I knocked that Seeker out of existence! Where did you come from? Quit being a pansy! Oh god. Almost had an edge on him. Now I don't. He's so close to the snitch now. That's, that's the thing that I almost like about this, but I don't like at the same time, is that he can get close. And it's always a challenge, but no matter who is, like, really far ahead at present, it's not going to matter. All right, now I'm going to get the snitch. Now we're good. Now I just got to make sure to get it. There we go. And it's a victory! Go, Gryffindor! So it's pretty much between us and Slytherin. How did we not score Jack on that? They got 20 points, I got 36 points, I said, oh my. Terrible results. Team. Pick your stuff up. Gosh. Terrible. You're terrible. I should not be National Hunting. I really should not. Be. What a match! Those Ravenclaws didn't know what hit them. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm worn out just from cheering. I'm going to bed. You go right ahead, Ronald. We're going to do something else real quick besides save, because, as you guys remember from the bulletin board, maybe not, but there are, you know, random items skewed about, and the closest one is at Haggard's Hut, and that's, like, right over there, so, um, that's Incendio, that's where we were, yes, one over right. <laughs> if I can remember exactly where, that would be even more awesome. But, uh, we need to get that. It's pretty much... Look around the bushes and the brush. There they are. Ross scales. There's something else shining back there. What was that? Oh, Hagrid, don't toy with me. Oh, that's just the wood on your tree. Okay. Um, X and the day, and we will watch some cutscenes. After the loading screen. Because why not? Hey, Harry, 
What do you think of this? It looks like an old diary. Belonged to T.M. Riddle. Hang on. I know that name. T.M. Riddle got an award for special services for the school 50 years ago. I know that because Filch made me polish his shield about 50 times in detention. Well, whoever he was, he didn't write in it. It's completely blank. I wonder why someone wanted to try and get rid of it then. Weird. Harry went to bed before anyone else in his dormitory that night, mainly because he wanted to examine Riddle's diary. He sat on his four-poster and flicked through the blank pages, until... Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber, and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night when I caught him. Okay. Harry sat entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Evening, Hagrid. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone. But monsters don't make good pets now, do they? It never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. I... No! It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Go tell Hermione. I've got to go and see Hagrid. Don't believe everything that books tell you, kids. Because that... That a, 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 a talking book really should not be your number one source of information. Period. If it's talking, it's lying. M more than likely. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next episode. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye. I can dream. I can dream.